Hi, I'm Kelly Harride. I lead Catastrophe Research and Development in Corporate Enterprise Risk Management here at Liberty Mutual. I have a decade of experience in the insurance industry focusing on catastrophe risk and am trained as a climate scientist. So right now, to manage climate risk, there are essentially three big families of models that are each trying to manage climate risk in different ways. So from the scientific community, we have climate models, often global climate models that can be sort of taken down into relatively smaller scales, but they're designed to look for global average changes or sort of large scale regional changes in climate impacts, things like averages in temperature and averages in rainfall, and they're really powerful tools for taking physics and looking forward into the future. There's another family of models called integrated assessment models that take some of that information from the climate modeling sphere, but they're really intending to look at how changes in our economy will play out in the form of things like transition risks. So understanding how our change in energy mix will propagate through the rest of the economy. And then what insurers primarily use are catastrophe models which are statistically based models that focus in specifically on extreme events, your hurricanes, your floods, your wildfires. And we use historical information to understand how those impacts actually play out at the level of individuals and communities. So each of these tools was designed for different pieces of the climate risk problem, but none of them is really designed for the problem that we are being asked to solve today, which is how will the change in extreme events due to climate change impact our economy going forward into the future. Each of these tools has the ability to contribute something to that discussion, but there is not one like out of the box tool today that you can go to and say, this is the piece that we're able to use to solve our adaptation questions that we can use for community planning that we can use for making sure that our investments in resilience are being done as effectively as possible. 